The Revenge of Anubis by Tim Downey. Hello? Damn place is deserted. Patrick, I think I found something. <gasps> oh my God. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. What do you want? Nothing. I'm lost. My camel train got split up in the storm and I ended up here in what I thought was a deserted temple. I was obviously wrong. I didn't mean to startle you. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Just wasn't expecting anyone, that's all. Who are you? My name is Robert. Robert Sizemore. I'm an explorer. I see. And you are? Celia Entwistle. <laughs> University of Laza. I'm a... Student. I'm here with my husband. So, what are you searching for? Whatever I can find. That's broad. Well, I don't like to fence myself in. But in truth, we were supposed to be heading towards Karnabad on the Afghan borders. But the guide misheard us and took us to Chamba, northern Mongolia. <laughs> yes, it happens. We could have gone back and caught a plane, but I thought, no. Where's the adventure in that? Let's see the plateau, I said. Let's walk through deserts and discover all that was once lost. And have you? No. Just a lot of sand, sand and camels. Then this storm came up. I lost Ahmed and the others. All my supplies and maps. I wandered for days. Endured the biting cold of the Gobi nights and the blistering heat of her days till I finally stumbled across this old deserted temple. Would you like some water? No, I'm fine. Well, at least you still have your camel. Sadly, no. Damn thing committed suicide about an hour after we were lost together. Strangulation. I was riding him at the time. Oh, dear. Well, it's lucky you found your way here. I was born lucky. And what about you, Celia Entwistle? What brings you this far from the Silk Roads? Well... Don't uh, tell him anything. It can't be. It's been a long time, Robert. I thought you were dead. They all did. But you Indeed. and everyone... Quite. I just... You did. I'm sorry, but do you two know each other? Oh, yes. Patrick, whatever happened that day... What? Say you're sorry. Say it was just an accident. It was no accident, Robert. It wasn't. Really? I had to... Just as I thought. I'm sorry. I really have absolutely no idea what's going on. Ethiopia, 1924. High on opium, a local priest had let slip the whereabouts of the sacred scroll of Anubis, thought lost for centuries in the flames of the great library of Alexandria. We had found what we had been searching for. It was within our grasp. But Robert Sizemore had other ideas. I was young. It all went to my head. To protect the location, we sent the rest of the party on a wild goose chase. I and the man I thought I could trust went on ahead. It should only have taken hours, but Robert's horse developed complications after swallowing its own hoof. But finally... We reached the site. Please, Patrick, if only you knew how much I have suffered since that day. At the entrance to the cave, I bent down to pick up my torch. And then it all went black. When I awoke, I was surrounded by angry tribesmen. They kept me prisoner for five long years. Unspeakable acts were done about my person. Till finally, I escaped. Ever since that day, I have longed for this moment. Never a minute has passed that I have not planned and plotted my revenge on Robert Sizemore. 
Why have you not mentioned this before? Well, it never came up. I thought you said we would never have secrets. Well, I think this is slightly different, Celia. This is no different to that woman in team you said was just a friend. We've been through this. She always seems to pop up, though, doesn't she? You brought her up. I did not. Sorry, shall I leave? You stay right where you are. We will deal with this later, darling. There are people around, <laughs> right? Later? <laughs> later? <clears throat> now, Robert Sizemore. I have waited a long time for this moment when we two could be together once again. What was that? Sounds like a knock. I know that, but why? No one knows we're here. Did you bring someone, Robert Sizemore? No, I'm alone. Robert, go and let them in, and I'm warning you. No funny business. You all right? Is it... I think that's a yes. Would you like some water? I'll get some water. No, please, lady. It is just craps. That's disgusting. No, no, no. Craps. In my leg. Oh, cramps. He means cramps. Can you stand? Yes. Yes, I think so. Help him up, Robert. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good, you are all here. What do you mean, good, you're all here? I have a package for you. Oh, this is ridiculous. Does everyone know about our secret mission? Mortimer? No, no, lady. My name is Mohammed. Mortimer? It's me, Celia Rendwhistle. <coughs> Celia? Is that really you? What? Do you two know each other? Take off that silly headdress and let me see you. There. Oh, Mortimer, it is you. Oh, <laughs> I say. <laughs> oh, my darling, I thought you were dead. Yes, we're having rather a lot of that today. Celia. Celia, <laughs> would you be kind enough to untwine your legs for just a second and tell me what the bloody hell is going on? This is Mortimer Dempsey. We were childhood sweethearts back in England, engaged to be married, till one day you just disappeared. Strange tale. I was on board a ship bound for the Americas. A job had just come up in the New World, and I had had a letter telling me that there was a vacancy in Texas. They were looking for a man to help them with their new machinery in drilling for oil, and they had heard I was the best. But I never reached America. What happened? We sank without trace. I was the only survivor. I drifted for what seemed like months on the back of a door that I managed to grab hold of moments before she was lost. But how have you ended up here? I let the currents take me where they wanted to go. I survived on fish and the hope that I would see Celia once again. That door took me all the way to China. For years I slept on the streets, picking up what little Chinese I could to get by. Till one day, a man approached me with a deal. To bring a parcel to this ancient and lost temple. What's inside it? He wouldn't say. Well, let's open it. Here, give it to me. Oh, some sort of wireless gramophone. Ingenious. It's a reel-to-reel -reel recording device. What are you, simple? Well, stop messing around with it and switch it on. Yep, I'll press record. Well, this is on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Greetings, travellers. Glad you could all be with us today. You are probably wondering why I brought you all here. Yes, I was the one that brought you all here. In case you haven't already worked out, all four of you are linked. Some by tragedy, some by revenge, some by love. But none of these reasons are correct. Well, I mean, maybe revenge is the closest, but none of the others. So let me explain. As I record this, I am dying. Age has ravaged my body, and being a lonely man, I have devised this entertainment as my dying wish to the world. One of you this night will find the thing you have been seeking all these long years. The others will perish. <laughs> 